Hello and welcome back to GA Simple. In this video I will show you how we can calculate the distance of polygons to the nearest polyline. And we will see how we can export our data outside the ArcGIS in order for us to import this dataset in a statistical program which is R and I will show you how we can formally assess if there is any difference in distance between our polygons and different types of polylines. So let's assume that we are dealing with a region and in this region we have some polygons so these are some polygons let's assume that there are some kind of area uh, that uh, are of interest to us and uh, uh, besides the polygon we have some polylines and these, poly uh, these polylines are actually representing roads and these uh, roads are classified as uh, uh, main, minor, secondary and footpath so uh, for the sake of uh, example uh, we can imagine that our research question is uh, uh, to understand and to formally assess if uh, the distance between uh, the polygons and the different types of roads uh, are almost the same for all the type of roads so the first thing that we can do is to calculate the um, distance uh, of the polygons to the nearest polyline so we go and search for our near tool and so we can input uh, here in this drop down menu the feature for which we want to calculate the distance so in this case are the polygons and then the near features that is the feature to which we want to calculate the distance so in this case the near feature are the roads we leave search radius blank and all the other options blank and so the distance will be calculated to the nearest polyline so we can click OK we wait until the analysis is done OK the analysis has ended we can open up the polygon layer and as you can see the near tool has added two columns to the polygon attribute table we have already seen the output of this tool in a preceding video and we have mm, two new columns one is labeled near FID and the other one is labeled near dist so the near dist is the distance in this case in meters and of the polygon to the nearest uh, polyline and so in this case to the nearest road and the near FID is the identifier of the nearest road so if we open up the road layer open attribute table we can see that this is the attribute table of this road shape file and, and you can see that the roads are classified as a, a footpath main minor and secondary and uh, each class correspond to a, a set of polylines and so and the identifier of footpath is 0 FID the identifier of, of main is 1 and so forth so if we, if we go back to our polygon layer we have this uh, new data the distance to the nearest polyline that is to the nearest road and the identifier corresponding to the uh, feature which is the nearest to each polygon and we, and we have this uh, near FID which is the identifier of the polyline which corresponds to the type of road so 
before exporting this data set for further analysis, we want to add here a column containing values corresponding to the type of road. So we can perform a join. We can join the two table in order for us to have in this table a, a, a new column containing the corresponding name of this uh, FID value, that is the type of road. So we click on this uh, polygon layer, we go in uh, Join and Relates, Join, we select Join Attribute from, from a Table, so this um, this uh, drop-down menu allow, allows us to choose the field in this layer that, we, that the join will be based on and we want to base the join on the near FID and this drop-down menu allows us to choose the table to join to this layer and the table is rolled and mm, from this uh, other drop-down menu we can choose the field in the table to base the join on and so we want the join um, to be based on the FID column in the road attribute table. We can uh, uh, select keep all records, we click OK. So as you can see, we have another um, co uh, three columns added to the uh, polygons attribute table. And uh, more importantly, we have this uh, class uh, column which contains the type of uh, roads to which each polygon is uh, closer. So now we can export this table in order for us to further process it outside ArcGIS. So we select the output location and we export it as a DBase table. We can give it a new name, like Polygon Distance. Click Save, we click OK. We don't want the table added to ArcMap, so we can click No. And we can minimize ArcMap. And we can go straight to so this is our studio. In our studio, we can use the foreign package uh, to import the DBF file into R. So I will use this uh, uh, this command. Uh, this read dot dbf is a, uh, is a function of the foreign package. I will not go into the details of this package or of this command. So this uh, command will allow us to import the dbf file and the, mm, the content of the file will be uh, stored in this object in named uh, my data. So we uh, run this tool so we select the, the DBF file, we click OK, and as you can see, the dataset will be imported into R. We can see the first row of, the new, of this dataset. And so now we can plot uh, some box plot. in order for us to have a better understanding of the data, in order for us to see if there is any difference in distance between polygons and, and, uh, and roads according to the type of road. So we can use the, block, the box plot command. So we want to plot the near distance variable according to, uh, using as a, group, a grouping variable the the class variable that is the column that is storing what type of uh, uh, of polyline each polygon is closer to so we execute this command 
and as you can see, we have uh, four box plots that are showing the distance to the nearest um, road according to the type of road, footpath, main, minor and secondary. Mm, there are many uh, outline va uh, values and we could also exclude these uh, outline um, values in order for us to have a, a better picture of the distribution of the data. So we can close this, we can copy and paste this command and using outline equal false so we have um, no outliers uh, displayed in this plot so we can see that the polygons our areas tend to be closer to footpaths minor and secondary road than to main roads so that's all for now if you like this video, please give a thumb up, subscribe to the channel, and, th and thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video.